I've had my left helix pierced March 12th this year and it's been eight weeks now so I decided to do a two months update video just to give you an idea in case you are planning to have one but could not decide for some reason how painful it is the healing time so on and so forth then this video is for you hello my friends welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in i'm mc for those who are new here and you may comment below videos you want to see i do luxury fashion lifestyle related content so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn the red bell on for new videos also give this video a thumbs up if you like it you may also follow me on instagram the link is in the description box below as well thank you so let's get started currently i have a total of eight piercings three on my right ear and five on my left if you follow me you knew i have only six piercings including my helix in the past but three weeks later i got another which is the right upper lobe and then the latest which is the conch piercing i've already shared with you my experience about it and i'm going to put the link of the video somewhere up here in case you haven't watched so today i'm going to talk to you about my helix piercing which is in the upper left corner um i'm going to share with you some tips on how i took care of it or still taking care of it because like i mentioned this is on its eight week and it's still on the process of healing i got it pierced from a piercing studio with a needle of course disclaimer guys everything i'm sharing is based on my experience my thought and just my opinion so go up to a professional piercer if you would like to get it and not just from jewelry sellers who use gun for piercing it's not safe to use a piercing gun on your cartilage it's not designed for cartilage it can create hardcore hypertrophic scarring and even blow it up so it will shatter your cartilage so why did i choose the helix for my first cartilage piercing well for me there's no medical reason to get a helix piercing it's purely aesthetic i have been thinking about this piercing for ages because i thought it was beautiful cool and edgy without being too daring it's a great alternative to lobe piercings not as painful as the rook dot dot date or even tragus that's what most people say so it's just that i have a very low pain tolerance that's why it took me this long to decide but fast forward i almost regretted this piercing because of the excruciating pain i felt while getting it done it was so painful from needle insertion to placement of the initial jewelry or earring my piercer used an 18 g or 18 gauge needle i believe and an hour after the piercing i thought i felt okay already it, though it felt hot and i had this painless throbbing which was really weird i had my ups and downs uh during the first week first to two weeks without the aid of some pain reliever capsules i don't know if i was able to make it through <laughs> it was red a bit swollen and tender to the touch and the cleaning the cleaning was so hard at the time a couple of days after the piercing i felt a throbbing pain again and headache so i couldn't work i had to take meds round the clock i don't know but me and my daughter were pierced in the same spot same day by the same piercer as you can see in the actual video but hers did not hurt at all she had no issue like mine at the time and at the time i considered going back to the studio for the earring to be taken off that did not happen fortunately because of patience and since it was not infected at all so a week later the swelling was gone i just felt some discomfort such as painless throbbing and flare up of course without warnings 
and it's on the process of healing so i am extra careful when i take a shower while washing my hair using a towel especially when i brush my hair to avoid irritations you know this piercing can take slightly longer to heal depending on how well the aftercare instructions are followed and your body's ability to heal experts say that it should heal within three to six months but it can take as long as nine months or even one year for it to be fully healed if without complications you know and during this period you will be instructed not to change the initial piercing of jewelry for at least uh, four to six months and do not insist on using a hoop as your initial piercing jewelry yes hoops or rings for your initial jewelry will only delay your healing due to twists and turns while you're sleeping and it rotates you know they rotate pulling crusts into uh, almost doubling the healing process which is pretty painful when this happens however i've done something that i must share with you i do not recommend or suggest you should do it i'm not sure if you notice but this earring is no longer the original or initial jewelry placed by my piercer i've changed out that one already because i felt i needed to downsize the pose of the initial earring was quite long well i know it's done like that to give some space or room for the swelling to facilitate healing time but the extra length if you're not careful catches the comb face masks uh, sunglasses uh, towels and even your nails if you have very long ones and for these reasons i took the risk of replacing it with a threadless or pushback type earring which i purchased from a body person jewelry shop in california called lulu's jewelry it's this beautiful yellow gold flower cluster with shiny crystals right here this one is in a shorter pose which i need uh, i needed and i love how it really fill in the area it is designed for helix but it can be used also for conch or earlobes i know it was only six weeks and i've already replaced my uh, initial piercing jewelry but so far no issues with it it is less likely to get caught on the things which i hope is good for my healing so depending on your uh piercing condition make sure to consult with your piercer about it first if you have planned to replace it uh, just like what i did so my tip for you is never downsize your initial jewelry if you feel that something is wrong with it it's not yet okay it's still a uh, red or a bit swollen and if you still feel this throbbing even if it's painless so never do that guys like i mentioned consult with your piercer i just want to share with you uh, my daughter's experience or case at the moment she hasn't changed jewelry yet since the piercing but now she's got a bump the moment i saw it a few days ago i took her initial jewelry and replaced it with a shorter pose one that's similar to this this one and to this day the bump has gotten smaller thank god it's not a keloid i believe it's just uh she just needed to downsize so another tip is this cleaning solution this actually made my healing faster it's the nail med piercing aftercare it's basically a sterile saline solution um that you can spray to your piercing twice a day i wipe it off with a dry paper towel or q-tips and i really love this i'm a big fan of this the question i get a lot is how painful it was to me it was really painful I would rate this as 7 on a pain scale of 10. So it's 7 over 10 being the highest. Just because upper cartilage tends to hurt a little more than the lower cartilage section. Another tip is avoid touching it or upsetting your piercing as much as necessary. Irritation could cause inflammation or in some case infection. And you will not want to sleep on it for some time. A thinner travel pillow works great to keep the pressure off while you're sleeping. And for me, I still sleep on the opposite side and that will be until my helix piercing is fully 
heal. That was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. If you have questions, you can all leave them in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you on my next one.